Yeah, you know him as James Bond. I go back to Remington Steel. Yeah. Now meet the November man. You know who we're talking about. Pierce Brosnan is back on the big screen. He's playing a spy for the first time since those days as 007. It is a pleasure to have you here in the studio with oh, us, Pierce. Thank you. Thank Robin. you for making Good morning. Thing. Good morning to yes. you. Watched it last night, and I said the biggest compliment. I saw it on the screener at home. Going to watch it on the big screen when it comes out in a couple of weeks. It's one of those popcorn mm -hmm. movies. You not only star in it, you produced it. I produced it with my partner, Bill Marie St. Clair. Um, after GoldenEye looked like it was going to be a success, I formed mm. a company called Irish Dreamtime to make movies, to create my own projects, and this is one of them. We've, you know, this Thomas Crown, The Matador, yeah. and Evelyn, so we just chip away, and this one took about five years in the making. Bill Granger wrote these wonderful books, and we optioned book number seven, There Are No Spies, mm. and you have now the November It was man. worth the wait. It was worth the wait, and you kind of slipped back into that, that spy Role. That genre has been very good to you. It has paid the rent. <laughs> yeah, it's put the kids through school. It's been very good to me, I must say. Uh, you know, Bond, my days as Bond were, were magical, and it's the gift that keeps giving. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it has allowed me to create my own company and make my own movies. So, uh, just a blessing, just nothing but gratitude yeah. for it all. You're full of gratitude. And this yeah. one, as I was saying, uh, yeah, it's a, a big cat and mouse kind mm -hmm. of caper and uh, suspense, and, and, uh, but it has heart. And at it is your protege. We're going to play a little bit of a clip here. Right, right. You trained your protege, you go into retirement, you're brought back, and then you go head to head with the young man mm -hmm. that you helped create. Well, we found this wonderful actor, Luke Bracey, who plays Mason, mm -hmm. and that was the appeal of the story. And. We are actually uh, going to make another one. Uh, Relativity, who is our studio, uh, they've signed us up to go again because they love the movie so much. So if this continues on, then Luke Bracey could be, you know, just push this young man out there and yeah, do his we'll thing. See. We'll let people take a look and they will decide too. Here it is, the November man. I don't get you, Devereaux. I'm the one you want. Why not take your shot? Tempting. <laughs> Give away my position, though. Was willing to die for the cause, eh, Mason? Here's the enemy. You taught me that. Yeah. Well, I haven't finished teaching you yet, son. And here I am, about to take you down all the same. You're not gonna take me down, kid. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, you still had some tricks up your sleeve there. Good. Well, one should. <laughs> <laughs> Never let it go. We had a lot, a lot of interest on you on social media, as right. always. And someone, uh, Coco from Facebook, she asked this question: How does this new character? you're playing compared to the James Bond role you've played in the past? Well, they're, they're both agents, but uh, the character that I play, Peter Devereaux, the November mm -hmm. Man, is pretty uh, workmanlike. There's no gadgets, you know, there's no one-liners, witty one-liners, uh, and yet um, same actor, different characters. Yeah. Same kind of spy, danger, guns. <laughs> All that you know. that keeps us coming back again and again. And really, when you look at the, at the breadth of your work and the different things that mm. you've done, including Mrs. Doubtfire, right. and you, Pierce, what you said about Walt, Robin Williams on Instagram was incredibly mm. moving. He really touched you. He did. He touched me. His passing last week just cut to the quick, as I think has done with all of America and the world. He was such a wonderful man, mm -hmm. such a human man, such a kind fellow, and just you know, made the world joyous. Yeah. I love how you said how the first time that you met him in the trailer for Mrs. Doubtfire, and he was... Oh, describe when you went into the trailer. Oh, it was ridiculous. Well, I, yeah, it was the very first day of shooting, and they said, do you want to meet Robin? I said, of course. And I went into the trailer, and there was Robin, you know, kind of Ugg boots and shorts, hairy legs and Hawaiian shirt and hairy arms. He was a hairy dude, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and there was the head of Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, hello, Pierce. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, look at you. Come over here and sit with me. You know? So you, you met Robin and Mrs. Doubtfire all at the same time. Yeah, I really worked with Mrs. Doubtfire. I yeah. never, you know, it wasn't until the end of the movie that Robin just popped his head in at the end mm -hmm. and said, we did it. I went, oh, Robin, there yeah. you are. 
Oh. Because I'd get to work every day and he'd be in the makeup. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing those thoughts with him. I know it's very personal and, and you have a lot going on. You, these movies, family, mm -hmm. it's a good time to yeah. be you. My son is getting married at the end of the week, oh. Sean and his girl, Sonia. So big heart, big <laughs> love, the whole clan is here. Oh, well, you mm -hmm. are delight. and wish oh, you well. all the best going forward. And you can see The November Man. It opens nationwide next Wednesday, August 27th. You'll see my face in the place.